Hey gang, using the promo code MTGMUDSTA, all caps, will get you 10% off any order over $10 at Flipside Gaming. It'll also get you 10% off any orders of singles at Multizone. And it'll get you 10% off most products at Original Magic Art, with the exceptions of some paintings. If these fine sites don't have what you're looking for, you can also consider using my affiliate link when ordering from TCG Player. And if you'd like to join the Generic Goblin Gang to support this channel, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. Hey gang and welcome back. Today's game is another New York City special, with Trevor playing his newly made Golos deck. He keeps Arid Mesa, Sky Shroud Claim, Scattered Groves, an Island, a Polluted Delta, a Scape Shift, and a Sheltered Thicket. Jerkus is back playing Kozilek, keeping High Market, Wastes, Seagate Wreckage, Blightsteel Colossus, Ugin the Ineffable, Platinum Angel, and a Lux Cannon. New to the channel is Syriac playing Nicol Bolas, Ravager, keeping an Urborg, a Morphic Pool, Nightmare and Making, Vampiric Tutor, Mountain, Cryptic Command, and a Negate. His brother Clayton has joined us again playing his Brea deck, keeping a Mystic Gate, Fiery Isles, Sea Chrome Coast, Ancient Tomb, a Plains, Anointed Procession, and Sahili. Trevor wins the die roll and starts us off. Trevor plays a tap sheltered thicket. Syriac plays a morphic pool which comes in untapped and taps it for one black to cast a thought seize. He rightly targets Trevor and has Trevor discard scape shift. And Syriac loses two life. Clayton draws and plays Seachrome Coast. Jerkus plays a Seagate Wreckage and passes. Trevor's turn 2 has an Arid Mesa coming into play, and he sacrifices it, losing 3 life total to find a Shock Land. He shortcuts before searching, casting life from the Loam to return the Mesa to his hand, and then passes to Syriac while searching for a land. Syriac plays a Mountain. Clayton plays a Mystic Gate. Jerkus plays a High Market and passes. Trevor draws and plays an Island. He casts Wayward Swordtooth, which resolves, and then plays a tap Scattered Groves. Syriac casts Vampiric Tutor at the end of turn to find a card and put it on top, losing two more life. Syriac draws what he tutored for and plays an Urborg as his land drop. He then pays one for Soul Ring and taps the Soul Ring and a red and a blue for Ral Storm Conduit. He then upticks the Walker to scry two and keeps one on top and bottoms one before passing to his brother. Clayton plays an Ancient Tomb and takes two as he taps out to cast Anointed Procession. For Jerkus' turn, he plays a Wastes and passes. Trevor plays a Polluted Delta and sacrifices it, losing three again as he goes to find a Shock Land. He then plays it the Gitrog Monster and drops Arid Mesa, passing turn. Syriac draws and upticks Ral again, scrying two. He keeps one on top and bottoms the other and then plays out a tap watery grave. He still has enough mana at this point for Nicol Bolas the Ravager, who upon entering, makes his opponents discard a card. Trevor discards a land, which lets him draw a card of the Gitrog monster, while Jerkus pitches Blightsteel Colossus, who gets shuffled into his library. Clayton simply discards a planes. Clayton draws for turn, and plays a Fiery Isles, and then casts Brea, losing one from the Isles, and using Ancient Tomb to tap for black thanks to Urborg. Brea comes in with four Thopters instead of her normal two, and Clayton then passes turn. Jerkus plays a Wastes, and casts Lux Cannon in his main phase before passing turn. At the end of turn, Trevor sacrifices the Arid Mesa, losing one to go and find a land, but first draws from the Gitrog monster, seeing a land go to his yard. Trevor sacrifices an island on his upkeep to the Gitrog monster's trigger, and then draws from the Gitrog monster, seeing it go to the yard. He then dredges instead of drawing for turn, returning the life from the loam to his hand, and milling his top three. Trevor then casts the loam in his main phase, returning his fetches to his hand, and plays it a Maze of Ith, Polluted Delta, and Flooded Strands as his land for turn. He then taps the fetches for mana thanks to Urborg being out, and casts Golos. The souped up Solemn Simulacrum goes to find him a land, and Trevor settles on a Cabal Coffers. Moving to combat, 
Trevor sings the Gitrog monster in the Wayward Swordtooth at Raoul, and Syriac blocks the Gitrog monster with Nicol Bolas. Raoul then takes five, and Trevor passes. Syriac draws for turn and casts a Racto Signet in his main phase, and then down ticks Ral to have only one loyalty counter left. This will let him get a second copy of whatever instant or sorcery he casts next, and he taps 5 mana for Nightmare on Making. Sadly, the spell is copied with the same mode that he picks, so he can't do both like he'd imagined, but he does pick to exile all creatures with more power greater than the amount of cards he has in hand, which is most of the board. He also gets to do some damage with Ral's static ability, dealing the two to Trevor, and he then passes to his brother. Clayton plays a Sea of Clouds and casts Sahili Sublime Artificer, and then plays out Inspiring Statuary, getting two tokens from Sahili Trigger and the Anointed Procession doubling it. Moving to combat, he heads at Trevor with three of the Thopters, and then passes. At the end of turn, Jerkus activates the Lux Cannon, putting a charge counter onto it. Jerkus plays an Urza's Mine and pays three for an Unstable Obelisk. He then plays out his Lightning Grease before passing to Trevor. Trevor draws instead of dredging, and plays a tap Valakut for his land drop. He activates the coffers for 10 black mana, thanks to Syriac's Urborg being out, and uses 7 of it to recast Golos. He sacrifices his 2 fetches at the same time, losing 2 life, and he goes to find 3 lands. The land he grabs with Golos is Vesuva, which comes in as another copy of the tap Valakut, and Trevor then casts Sky Shroud Claims before putting down his library. He goes to find two more forest cards, grabbing a stomping ground and a cinder glade. These will trigger his Valakuts as they come in, and he uses two of the four triggers to take out Sahili, and then uses the other two to deal six damage to Syriac before passing turn. Syriac plays an ancient tomb as his land drop, and recasts his commander, forcing his opponents to discard a card as the dragon enters. Clayton loses two, and casts Servo Schematic, which comes into play and makes not one, but two Servos because of the procession being out. Moving to combat, he hits Trevor for four with the Flying Thopter from Brea, and moves to a second main phase. He taps some artifacts to help pay for Kozilek Butcher of Truth, and draws four cards from its on-cast trigger. Clayton then plays out a Spire of Industry as his land for turn, and passes. Jerkus plays a Wastes and casts Platinum Angel in his main phase. He gears up the Angel with the Lightning Greaves and decides not to attack. He passes, and at the end of turn, Clayton uses Swords to Plowshares to exile Golos. Trevor gains 3 life and moves to his turn. Trevor plays a Field of the Dead and gets a Zombie token before activating his Cabal Coffers. He recasts Golos again and goes to find a land as it enters. He grabs a Glacial Chasm, which comes in and triggers his Field of the Dead, gaining Trevor another zombie token, and also forces Trevor to sacrifice a land. Using his floating mana, and tapping the other colors he needs, Trevor then activates Golos, exiling his top three. He hits Pajuka Bog, Titania, and Eternal Witness. He casts Titania, bringing back a land and gaining a zombie token, and then casts Eternal Witness. This returns to Trevor's hand Obnixilus the Fallen, which Trevor then taps more mana to cast, and he passes turn. Syriac draws, and taps enough mana, losing two life from his ancient tomb, to transform Nicol Bolas into Nicol Bolas. He then upticks Nicol Bolas the Arisen to Nihil Loyalty, and draws two cards. He plays a Command Tower, and loses two more life to cast a Gataxian Probe for the Phyrexian mana cost, and looks at Trevor's hand, and draws a card. He then passes turn. Clayton draws and plays Prismatic Vista as his land for turn. He casts Spine of Ishsa, blowing up Jerkus's Lux Cannon, and heads to combat. Kozilek heads at Jerkus, while the Thopter team goes at Nicol Bolas. Jerkus sacrifices his four permanents to the Kozilek Annihilator trigger, and then takes the hit, while Bolas takes the hit and drops to five. In his post-combat main phase, Clayton realizes he shouldn't have been able to pay for the Spine with the Statuary ability, and taps accordingly, losing two life from the Ancient Tomb to properly pay for the artifact. Jerkus draws and casts Everflowing Chalice, kicking it twice. He passes, and at the end of turn, Syriac casts Rakdos Charm and targets Trevor to exile his graveyard. With the spell in the stack, once Trevor gains priority, he cycles Fetid Pools, replacing the draw with Dredge to return life from the loam to his hand. Trevor's yard then gets exiled, and before moving to his main phase, 
Trevor sacrifices it to Mesa to go and find a land, losing one and gaining a 5-3 elemental token from Dintania seeing the land go to the yard. He then finds a plains for the field, and as it comes in, it triggers the field of the dead, getting him another zombie. On Trevor's upkeep, he lets the Glacial Chasm go instead of paying for the cumulative upkeep, gaining another 5-3 elemental token from Titania, and then draws for turn. He plays a land, gaining a zombie token, and using the Obnixilus trigger to have Syriac lose 3 life, and puts 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto Obnixilus. Trevor then activates the coffers for more black mana, and taps the proper colors to activate Golos. He exiles Sylvan Scrying, Seasons Past, and Sylvan Library. He casts the Seasons Past, returning the Chasm to his hand, and then puts the spell on the bottom. He then plays up the Sylvan Library, and casts Sylvan Scrying to go find a land to put to hand. He finds a Thespian Stage, and reveals it before putting it to hand. Moving to combat, Trevor swings up Nixilus and Nicobolus, and the four zombies at Clayton. The Planeswalker gets taken out, and Clayton decides to take the 8, and Trevor then passes. Syriac plays a Scalding Tarn, and sacrifices it, losing one to go and find a land. He grabs Volcanic Island, and puts it to field untapped. He then casts a Fiery Confluence, and chooses the mode to deal 1 damage to all creatures 3 times. This deals with a lot of the board, and he then passes turn. Clayton draws and recasts his commander, who brings in 4 more Thopters as she enters. He then goes to combat, swinging Kozilek at Trevor. With the Annihilator trigger on the stack, Trevor taps his Maze of Ith to take the Eldrazi out of combat, but still has to sacrifice 4 permanents. He bins 4 lands, and Clayton passes. Jerkus casts Ugin the Ineffable, and upticks the Walker to make a Spirit token, and exiles a card face down underneath it, which will go to hand when the creature leaves play. He then passes to Trevor. Trevor uses his Library trigger during his draw step, looking at his top 3. He doesn't keep any extra though, and he activates the Coffers making 12 black mana, and then pays 2 of it for Demonic Tutor. Syriac isn't having any of that though, and negates it. Trevor then plays the Thespian Stage, triggering Omnixilis, and adding 3 more counters to the creature, and having Syriac lose 3 more life. He also gains a zombie token from the Field of the Dead. Trevor then activates Golos' ability, exiling 2 lands and Path to Exile, which he casts and targets Kozilek with. Syriac responds once he gains priority, tapping 4 mana for Cryptic Command. He has the spell countered, and draws a card. Moving to combat, Golos and Obnixilus pay a visit to Syriac, dealing 12, and Trevor then passes turn. Syriac plays a Prismatic Vista as well, and taps enough mana to re-re-recast Nicobolus the Ravager. His dragon enters, and everyone discards a card. He then pays 2 for Talisman of Indulgence, and passes. At the end of turn, Clayton sacrifices 2 artifacts to Bray's ability, dealing 3 to Trevor. Since the spine is one of them, it goes back to his hand as it hits the yard, and he makes 2 more servos as the servo schematic goes to the yard. Clayton untaps and draws for turn, and heads to combat, swinging Kozlik at Jerkus again, and the Thopters at Trevor. Jerkus sacrifices his permanence needed to appease the Annihilator trigger, and then blocks with the Ugin token, putting the card to hand that he'd exiled when it came into play. Trevor simply takes 4. Clayton then loses 1 life as he taps the Fiery Isles, for a red to help cast Goblin Engineer. He tutors for an artifact, and puts to his yard a copy of Time Sieve. Clayton then recasts his Spine of Issa, which comes in, and targets Trevor's Dark Depths. With the target on the stack, Trevor activates Thespian Stage to become a copy of the Depths. He sacrifices the original copy to the Legendary Rule, and then sacrifices the Thespian Stage clone version of it due to Dark Depth's own claws, which sees that it has no ice counters on it. Trevor then sacrifices the copy, and makes a Merit Lage token. Jerkus draws, and has enough mana to cast a Staff of Nin. He uptakes Ugin, making another token, and exiling a card underneath it, and passing. Trevor uses his Library trigger, and takes 4 to keep an extra card. He makes 10 black mana with the Cabal Coffers, and uses 3 of it for Horn of Greed. He plays a Misty Rainforest, gaining a Zombie, gaining a trigger from the Horn, and gaining a trigger from Obnixilus. He adds 3 counters to Obnixilus, and deals 3 to Syriac, and then draws a card. He then sacrifices the Misty, finding a Watery Grave, and losing 2 to have it come in untapped. He gains another Zombie, and deals another 3 to Syriac. 
Trevor then swings a Merit Lage at Clayton, Golos and a Zombie Token at Syriac, and a Soul Zombie Token at Jerkus. Jerkus trades his Ugin Token with the Zombie Token, Jerkus puts the card exiled to the token as it leaves play to hand, and Trevor in his post-combat main phase activates Golos' ability, exiling his top three. He then casts Corsair of Crufix, and flips his top card, revealing Dread Presence. At the end of turn, Jerkus taps his Staff of Nindadil 1 to Trevor. Jerkus draws and plays Sanctum of Ugin as his land drop. He's then able to tap out to cast all his dust thanks to the reduction for colorless spells from Ugin. He then upticks the walker to make another token and pass his turn. Trevor draws and plays Dread Presence. He then uses Life from the Loam to return three lands to hand and replays the Dark Depths as his land for turn, making a zombie token with the Field of the Dead. Going to combat, Golos goes at Ugin. Jerkus blocks with the token, getting the card as it leaves play, and Trevor passes. At the end of turn, Jerkus pings Trevor for one. Jerkus draws an extra card from the staff, and for turn, playing an Eye of Ugin and drawing from Trevor's Horn of Greed trigger. He casts a Basalt Monolith in the main phase, and then taps enough to cast Karn Liberated with a reduction from Ugin. He upticks Karn, forcing Trevor to exile a card from his hand, which turns out to be a Cascading Cataracts. Jerkus then passes. Trevor plays Thespian Stage, drawing a card from the horn and making a zombie token. He then casts Azusa and plays a Blood Crypt. He takes two to have it come in untapped. With the Blood Crypt coming in, he deals two to Jerkus with the Dread Presence trigger and gains two life, and then has two Valica triggers dealing a further six. He then plays a Wooded Foothills, getting another zombie token and drawing. Trevor then taps some mana and sacrifices the Wooded Foothills to find a land, losing one to go and find an untapped forest. He then activates Golos once he's done shuffling, and he casts Tatiova and Mana Crypt, and then swings six damage at Karn before passing turn. Before moving to his turn, Jerkus pings Trevor for one with the staff. Jerkus draws and draws from the staff. He plays a Waste, drawing from the Horn Trigger, and then casts Quicksilver Amulet. He then upticks Ugin, making another token, and at the end of turn, Trevor makes another Merit Lage token, doing the Thespian Stage and Dark Daps combo. Trevor rolls for his Mana Crypt, failing it and taking three. He draws for turn, and plays a Glacial Chasm, getting a Zombie token, drawing a card, and sacrificing a Force as it comes in. Jerkus realizes he forgot to uptick Karn, and Trevor is happy to oblige him by exiling a card from his hand. Trevor then activates Golos, and hits Prismatic Omens in his top three cards exiled. He then casts a Brainstorm, and draws three and puts one back. He then plays out an Uvenwald Hydra, and grabs a land, which, because of the Omens, gives him a Dread Presence trigger, and a trigger from each of his Valakuts. He deals eight damage to Jerkus, and gains two, plus draws a card, and gains one life from Tatiova. Jerkus is quick to realize he's done for, and scoops it up to Trevor. Game review time. So I think the only thing that I would have criticized this game was Clayton's attacking of Jerkus with Kozilek. It really put him far behind, and he wasn't really able to recover until several turns of being left alone. I think Syriac did a great job of dealing with Trevor for the most part, but unfortunately cost him a lot of life to do so, and that meant that he was easy pickings for goals to finish him off. Trevor and I have discussed it quite a bit, and Golos can be a bit of a handful to deal with. Not every deck is prepared to deal with a lands matter deck, and when some of your main win cons are based around lands, it can be often hard to interact. Please be sure to tune in every Monday and Thursday at 11am Eastern Standard Time for a guaranteed new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at MTGMudsta. You can find me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MTGMudsta. And lastly, you can check me out when I stream at Twitch.tv slash MTGMudsta. This video is brought to you in support by my patrons. If you're looking for a way to help out the channel, please be sure to visit the link below. Thank you all for watching this video, and don't forget, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.